Hello everyone and welcome back to this third video in my guide in uh, Pit of Eternity 2, uh, Path of the Dam difficulty. So in this uh, video I'm gonna do the full run of the old city dungeon. Uh, it's quite big, a lot of fighting in here. So I'm gonna focus in this video more showing you what to do in combat more on harder fights. Uh, talk a bit, little bit more of uh, inspirations and uh, afflictions, buff and debuffs, uh, and how I have geared and what spells I have taken so far. So we can start mm. here. Look at the deer. Um, I'm playing as, as fighter. Is my tank. So what additional spells I have taken here since my last video? I have taken this one. Vigorous defense, it gives me 20 all defenses and concentration for 15 seconds. It's really good. When you get it upgraded later on, it's a must because each time the fight takes damage, the duration extends. Meaning, as a tank, you always take damage standing in the front. You use this one time, cost two discipline, and it will be up, up, uh, up all the, the, the entire fight for you. So that's a really good talent to take. Also taking increased uh, health regeneration. It's really good. And I've taken uh, Bull's Will here for some extra will defenses. Because his will is the lowest here. Even if I have additional talent for Bull's Will. As you see from the rest of them. Uh, and I also did take uh, resistance to resolve afflictions here because I don't want to be terrified especially when you're up against uh, bosses and so on in this game when you are terrified you just run around and if they are engaged to you uh, as you often is as a tank they will do a disengagement attack on you and you it, if you tank like six mobs or something and a boss whatever uh, and you get that you run away and everyone will disengage attack you at the same time and you will instantly die. So this is a really good talent to have. Every resistance on the tank is good to have because... Uh, see here. Yeah, so if you're stunned for example. I don't have that yet, but... If you're stunned, you will lose all the engagements to all the monsters you're tanking. And they will run instantly to your backline and kill them. So almost every top tier affliction uh, has some kind of, you can't do anything, uh, and especially good to have on the tank. So I'm also taking an extra engagement here. Engagement is a tank mechanic, as we talked about in the earlier video. So this is how idea looks so far. Uh, so for my gear here, I did actually in neck attack I buy a plate fine one to get some additional armor rating. We did talk a lot about armor rating in the last video, how important it is. Uh, in this specific dungeon, they do a lot of crush damage. I only have six against that. It's not the greatest, but I guess it's fine. Also, I have gotten this specific shield, Wagram's Blessing. And what's cool about this is it's actually doing damage as an offhand weapon. Uh, as you see here, so it's actually dual wielding right now for some additional damage without losing the beneficial things to have a shield. And I've put on a flail on him. Uh, why I've done that? Because I did take that as weapon proficiency here. Unbalanced strikes. It gives the attack. When I, uh, when I have that on, I will do 25% less damage. Don't really care about that. I'm a tank. But I will lower the reflex by 25. Uh, and that's really high, really good. And most of my guys here, like Fireball, target reflex, uh, Flame of Wall, reflex, same with the Kiyo here. Uh, this one, really good, target reflex. Some damage here, target reflex. So many AoE damage abilities, target reflex. So that's the reason I've taken that one here. Uh, other than that, yeah, put on the gear I find. 
try to have so the most important thing here I will try to have as good armor as I can I try to at least have it as fine on this dungeon and this early in the game but uh, try to get better if you can so this is actually an exceptional scale armor 9 armor rating really good on my myself here uh, Yes, so on myself, I have been focused on damage, taken 200 weapon style, some extra damage here, uh, the Babag Blue here for extra damage, still have the defenses as before, and more damage and one enemy engage here. On the Paladin side, I upgraded this one because this will give me 20% damage when it's on. It costs a lot of seal. I already used this one to heal my part and do additional damage. But if you upgrade it, uh, if the rivals is defeated, the seal is cost is refunded. Meaning I can use this on every target more or less. Uh, I also got this weapon. Uh, what's cool about this? There are some soul bound weapons in the game. That you can bind to specific class. So this specific you can bind to a barbarian druid fighter. And as my one of my subclass is actually a barbarian. I have bind it to him. And it's ex exceptional at the start. So they gave you some criteria here. When you bind it. There's a button here when, it's by, when you bind it. So for this one I should do 250 shock damage. To upgrade it to the next level. To get some more benefits. The benefits of this specific it's that 10% chance on hit with weapons to activate lightning strikes doing some extra lightning damage. Uh, so this specific pole X doesn't have crush as it usually do, it has only slash and shock. I uh, also got some better here, fine warhammer and I also got this exceptional mace. Um, my plan here also I did take a medium shield here uh, so if we get to some point there we kind of need more or less two tanks against those is this what be in the medium shield here put on that model for the tanking so it's a good backup thing on really hard fights I don't really need to have it equipped all the time but if you come to a fight that's really hard you can swap it in not during combat, of course, but if you fail, you can consider and swap it out and try again. On Aloth here, I have uh, unlocked an additional weapon slot. Uh, so here is my base setup. I have my keybreaker, doing crush and slash, and my small shield. As you know, as before, I did take this one to have additional deflection and also get bonuses to reflexes when I have... A uh, shield equipped. So the thing here is, uh, this is my main when I cast spells. I don't get any penalty here, except uh, accuracy for the weapon specific, but I won't do any weapon damage when I'm this standing with this, more or less, some. So if someone jumps me, get onto me, or if the backline starts to cast on me, uh, or I get targeted by heavy spells and so on, I will swap to this one. As you can see here, I have 53 defenses right now and 73 reflex defenses. So if I swap to this one, 61 and 81. So it's kind of a huge upgrade. Uh, and I can also turn the model on here. Yes. This one, 50% less damage taken from ranged weapon, 50% damage minus taken uh, damage taken versus reflex uh, spells like fireball and all that. So. I really like to have a large shield on me uh, as a backup weapon that I can swap to like that. And when I don't need it, I have this. And I also did take an ex additional weapon slot here. So when if I run out of spells and so on, I can swap to this a bow. So this is a war bow. And Aloth ha had have quite high accuracy, so you can get away with it. I don't have the model for it, but uh, can be good here if I run out of spells to do some damage in the end to finish mobs off and so on. Uh, regarding what spells I've taken here, so 
I did talk about last time a specific grimoire. It's this one. It's called Grimoire of Vaporous Wizardry. So the main thing here is if you read this text here, uh, volatile casting, damage cost and interrupt. That's really good. So all damage spells interrupt automatically. Uh, and especially good here, grants extra spells to cost. So if you look here on Alath, Five. I have four here, level one spells. That's because I have a full buff right now that gives me plus to one uh, level one spells. But usually I have three everywhere here and two on the last one instead of two and one. So that's Grimoire yes. is really good. I will never swap this out. So because I have that, I did respect him from the last video. So we can take a little bit of look what I have taken so far. I still have Shield Fog. Uh, I still have... This spell is especially good. Not for the damage, but it is a reliable interrupt. And it's cast rather fast. So it's a really good spell to have to fast interrupt casters and so on. That cast dangerous spells. Uh, I still have this... Uh, Misama of Dull Mindness uh, debuff spell. I'm gonna talk more about that here. When we fight, still have the Combustion Wounds we talked about. Also the Binding Web here. Fireball, of course. Uh, also the Exposed Vulnerabilities. Also taking this one to have a spell that do Crow damage. Uh, the Shield here as well. I have to take the concentration, so I start with concentration so I don't get interrupted so easily. Uh, spell shaping, it's really good. What it's actually do is take a fireball here. So if you use your scroll wheel, you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, so if you see the, if I have that, this is the biggest right now. So you see here, the armor penetration is kind of bad on me and on India here, but if I make it slower, change. So the bigger, the less uh, accuracy you have on it and less armor penetration, but the smaller, the more. So it's really good for have for spells. Second, so on all, all casters you have, I really recommend to get this one, especially. If you, so you can hit every target you want and so on. My personal favorite of Wall of Flame, all walls. Uh, I'm gonna use it a lot. And I did take some extra penetration here. You know how important that is, we talked about last video. For fire spells. I will eventually more or less take all the uh, penetration here, but my most damage right now is from fire. Uh, like this free, so I start with that. On Soti, same here, same idea here actually. So this is my casting stance. I always want to have this because of the plus power level for inspiration and uh, restoration that so this lantern gives me. And I have the wand as before because what can I do you for? It gives minus accuracy. When she uses it, she uses quite a lot because she buff ups, then she waits to buff again or heal, so it's not bad. Uh, same principle here, I will change to this one if I get someone on me, but I still want to have the lantern for the extra heals and so on. Or if it's really get critical, I will change to the big shield here as well, a large shield, to get some uh, really good defenses here. It will make a huge difference, and also a wand has, as we saw on O's, you are minus 10 deflection against melee weapons. Uh, Wands has the same thing, but it's 5 deflection, so that's why I want to have this one. Not that big of a deal. And this one, uh, if it's really crucial. Uh, I like to have some higher armor, especially in the beginning of the game on my priest, on Suti. So I have actually a medium armor here. I'll take and Idir's armor because if she's die, everyone will die often. So I need to protect her and especially on Idir, 
he has the, the special about his armor, gives second chance. So I will auto if she dies, so we get up one time. Uh, so it's really good, so I'd like to have it on her. She costs quite slower because of that, because it gives you recovery time of 35% extra. But I think it's worth it. I don't want her to go down. Also upgraded it one step to fine here to get some more armor. Uh, on the spell side, still focus mostly on heals and buffs. I uh, have a spell shape here as well. And the concentration, really important. Also taking this buff. So I have respect her uh, as well from last time. Uh, if you want to respect a character, you can go to Tavern and you can uh, re re go on from level 1 and pick all the spells again if you want. It's a minor cost. It doesn't cost that much. So, as you know before, I did have this one, the Holy Power. It gives me the strong buff. Fire Might, really good to start with. But now we're now on this uh, power level. I got this instead. So it still costs the strong buff. Thing here, it will cost this uh, cost for 60 seconds instead of 30 seconds. That's double the length, it's really good. And also this one, 80 health restored on kill. So if I put this on my entire party at the start, so every time they do a kill, they will automatically heal for this one. It's insanely good. They will keep themselves up. So it's a really good buff to have. Uh, we can talk a little bit buffs and debuffs here. Uh, so you so you know that buffs and debuffs you put on uh, that is temporary doesn't stack of the same sort. Meaning, if you take at this look at this one. This will give if I cast this over my friendly, it will give me plus four might and ten accuracy. And if I put it on foe, enemies, minus 4 might and 10 accuracy. So if I put on both of these, I won't get 9 might. I will get 5 because of this. And this will, I will not receive this. I will get this one, but not this one. So it doesn't stack in that sense. So it's same for uh, armor debuffs as well. So for example, as I showed you in the last video. Yeah. I had this modal minus one armor rating when I hit it with it on the target for everyone, so the target get one less armor. But if I, for example, use Aloth here, that minus two armor rating. So this will be in a, will not be added to it. So this will precede this one. So the target won't get three minus armor rating. So the same sort doesn't stack. Uh, there are some exceptions to that. Uh, for example, if you flank someone, we talked about last video, uh, they will get a minus one armor rating and minus ten deflection. That actually stacks with other minus armor rating and other minus deflection. So for this one, so if you flank someone and put this on, they will actually get minus three armor rating and minus twenty deflection. So it's good to know. Uh, on Seraphan, I don't have him here with him right now, but he has a big AOE flank ability that I cast right away, and I will use this with this one, and I will lower their armor and deflection for a big group right away. Hi. Uh, Happy to oblige. So keep that in mind when you pick buffs and so on, what do you already have uh, on the characters or on my other characters. You also get this for free, a really good defense ability. Circle of protection. Give me 15 all defenses. You see me talk a lot about defenses here, but this it makes it so much easier if you are buffed and you have defenses up. It will make a huge difference when you fight. Uh, yeah, and Takeo, I did pick him as a druid single class. Same here, I have, so he gets some damage abilities here for free. Uh, so I focused him a mix between a backup healer and damage dealer. Uh, for example, this one is really good, minus 10 deflection, minus 10 reflexes. As we talked about, reflex is really good to put on everyone. Uh, and deflection as well, 
So it's a really good start ability to debuff the targets. Attacking this one is a really good damage ability, especially in the start of the game. It's to corrode damage over time, to do a huge amount, and combine that with this one. Also a cone with that does corrode damage over time, and any initial damage here. And this one, 10 raw damage per second. Uh, so this one you cast the last thing you do, because uh, the more wounded the target are, the greater the damage a target at maximum health takes no damage from the spell. So you shouldn't start with this or something. So you put up like this one, this one, then this one. And it's really good combination, these two spells, with Aloth, as we talked about, the Combustion Wounds. Because every time they take damage, when they have this on them, they will take additional damage. And if you have a lot of dots on them, that takes that takes for insane amount of damage. Other than that, so some damage abilities, but I also focus on healing here, like this one. Some health regeneration, really good. Uh, this one is extremely good. It uh, cost uh, cost robust on everyone. It's a level three inspiration. And it will give you 5 constitution, 2 armor rating, and plus 10 health restore per second. And the, the health restored here is actually get higher the more uh, might you have. It's a really good uh, start. I always, always start with this one on uh, harder fights to get a good boost in defense at start. So I'll take a little bit of both here. Uh, same here. Spell shaping also did take the two handed style here. And that's because he has a rod here, that is a two-handed, that is his main weapon to do damage with. And same here as I did for suit in uh, Aloth, to have some defenses, I put a staff on him, uh, a quarter staff, and did have that modal, because that modal you will actually swap to that one. See here, it will give me 20 deflection against melee weapons, so if someone gets up to him, I can swap to that for extra defenses and still cast spells and so on. It's really good. Okay. That Naturally. was a little bit about what I have done so far. And the start of the dungeon. So I'm just going to show you here how not to fight. And I see how many people are fighting in this game. Uh, so I'm going to do a bad fight here. So I'm going to say first. And I'm going to do it a much better way, or more, show you how to be efficient. Hey. Okay. Hmm? So, maybe... Yeah. Hey, watch Okay, so here's a fight. You can start attacking. Not to alarm you, but... I'm, I'm here. slowly dying. Huh? Poison. Okay. I shall. No, uh -uh. didn't work. Something like this. Something I okay, can do. so we can start like uh, kick that one down. Can buff him a little maybe and do a hit. Aloth, I see. Fireball is always good. People use that. Uh, use the protection here and on him. Yeah, here's some damage. Okay. <laughs> This is futile! Let me do another hit here. Second try, I say! Yeah. Yeah. So take some damage here now. Okay, maybe that's a heal here. You need something. And this is a damage. Right. Stuff. Fireball is always good, as I said. Use it again. So this is typical how people play. Oh, it's low health. I need to heal him. Uh, we need to kick someone down. This is maybe some extreme bad fighting. Uh, oh, we need to heal again. That's not very helpful. Oh, take lots of damage here right now. Heal, more heals. We have more heals. Yeah, he has a heal. Heal more. Heal, and hit something. <laughs> He's almost died. Hit again. More. <laughs> okay, it's fine for now. Something yeah. I can do. 
Stop that. Before you you that, need, by the way. need something stronger. This is a good spell. Oh. Oh. Five. I have lost too much water. Oh, yes, die. Shock him to the shark thing. Not too long here. Let me take a pot for him. This is futile. More healing. This one people often use. No way. mercy. So, like zero control here. Fights takes long. Use all my healing, almost. Still it went fine. Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of poison. Okay. So I did perfectly fine here, I think. So this this is normally what I see when I see people play this game, how they play it. Maybe this was a little bit extreme, but it's not uncommon. So let's do this fight again. I'll try to be so more efficient here. So, first of all, stealth. Always go in stealth in dungeons. Trouble up ahead. And I add stealth my tank. Why I do this is because everyone else is stealth right now. And not my tank. So he gets initiate aggro on everyone here. So they will run at him directly right now. As I did before, I turn off so they don't run away. I start buff here. So put on vigorous defense. Put on damage, yeah. same here, I put on this one Frenzy Aloth, I uh, can just give a second wait for, for him on her, I'm gonna buff this one get a strong buff up and on the KU yeah can maybe start with this one okay so, the buffs is there I can put on this again so idea is going to be a tank here. I guess going to front start tanking. That can off tank that. Mm -hmm. So on me, I put that up and do hold shift and put that more damage. Yeah. Idea can do knockdown of course. Yeah. Okay, so let's start debuffing. Nature's mark. Let's go. And I want to have. Firewall here, and after that, I want to have combustion wounds on them. And on Soti, we're gonna continue buffing more hit. No. This thing isn't doing the job. No. Yeah, wrong weapon on. Sorry about that. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. I think you would do as well. Yes. Take them down. Okay. And. This one, the dot I talked about, so stand a bit to the side here. Nothing like that. And on Aloth. Yeah, he has commands. Let's go. Hey, watch it with that. So do we can continue by some more here. Yeah. See attack it with almost no damage at all. And they just die. So fast. Think you got the decency mm. to die? Yeah. Happy to oblige. Yeah. I didn't heal a single time. And all that. Need something strong. It looked like this is a walk in the park. Yeah. And there was my weapon upgraded. So to upgrade it even further, I need to sail into a storm with this one. So yeah, I just want to show you that, how efficient it is to debuff and buff and all that. How easy it is, if you really make it efficient. Let's continue here. And start. Sometimes... Say your prayers. Can avoid to pull two packs at the same time, especially here. Trouble up ahead. 
Wait, look there. Yeah. So we'll follow them. Because there's a huge pack here. I don't want those packs at the same time here. There's something I can do? Something I can do. So this specific one, if you look up here, are immune to slash damage. Not good for me, because I only do slash damage. I need to change weapons. And you're gonna put the target on. So they are vulnerable to crush damage, and has quite refle low reflex uh, defenses. Only 40 here, so we can. Buff that even more. It's good. And we can put that on. Yeah. Rather difficult to concentrate. Up the fireball again, and same here. I'm strong. You see, I did a disengagement attack there. Almost, I died from one mob. So you see the small, it's quite hard to see, but see the small red hair that I'm against them and the green that they are against to me. So never do that. You can avoid it. Yeah. Okay. I shall. So as you see I now I'm engaged here to him. If I want to save him, I can use a knockdown on him, for example. Strong That's it! Come on! I missed. So that did a knockdown. It's really hard to see now, but Takeo should be able to run away. It will patch yourself. Yeah, without a disengagement attack. So knock knockdown is really good to use for that. Mule kick. Uh, put up some buffs here. Smaller, he said to hit this quite low. I have high uh, 42 defenses here, 98. Oh, oh. Now we got my fireball up. Too bad. Can't make it dead. Ah, oh, thick worth than rough. Let's go. Nice hey, so hard. Who you are? Ah, oh, thick I'm on it. Let's flank. <laughs> uh -uh, didn't work. I've got it. There's something I can do. Yeah. Looks like Take him down. That was a mistake. I was not in stealth. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Okay. They're actually immune to elect electricity, but they're kind of weak to slash. So I'm gonna change my weapon here. I'm gonna buff up some. Do some damage. What do you need? Put on that. I 
and again lower the defenses. Put up some defense here that can hit quite hard. Okay, so we have a grub here on Aloth. I'm gonna swap to my defense here. We don't need to turn it on because it's only for ranged, but I get some really good additional damage here. So I need to try to kill this one. Kill this first. Yes, Captain. And even if he got knocked down now, you see, he's still casting the fire thing. Uh, because he had the... The thing. <laughs> yeah, the concentration on him. So, I will uh, have, a, have a bad habit to interrupt here. So I will put up this one. That will give me a resolute. That will give me concentration every six, six seconds. There's something I can do. Can you use Vegas defense again here? And as you see now, I'm engaged to him, so I lost. It's actually safe to run away. Just wait. So I can run away here. They'll take him damage. And do some combustion. At your service. This does not work. Take him down. No. Oh. So dear, I will change that. Can't make a dent. It's the best to take almost no damage. Hey. He takes a lot of damage for some reason. I think they do crush damage. We had some good times. All right. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. That's something I can do. <laughs> yes? I reap what I sow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's that? Love will be on sink. That will do, I say. See many people die on this fight. Hmm. What do you need? So we did talk a little about that. I'll uh, see what I can find. The debuffs and buffs on the same type doesn't stack. So that is yes. really good. Why? A lot there, for example, his this one. It lowers perception, intellect, and resolve. Uh, and if you check the stats here, perception gives you one to plus one for every over ten to uh, accuracy, and two to reflex. And perception, uh, intellect, same here. It gives 
for every over 10 it gives plus 2 to will. So if you put on a debuff that will lower will or lower reflex and was resolve as well. Uh, yeah, resolve. Also gives will and deflection. Uh, some will. So if you put down a, a debuff that do minus will defense or reflex defense and also put up that, that stacks in that case you will lower their uh, stats here and automatically lower the will and reflex and deflection value. Or, and if you also flank them at the same time then you can get some huge uh, debuffs on them. So, so keep that in mind uh, if you look at debuffs and so on. That gives minus to specific stats, like this one. This is why I love it really uh, much. No trouble at all. Real. Wait. Hey. Come on. Get out of combat. Whoa, whoa, look. Keeping an eye out. So this is mostly how I play. And it's not my need to be much harder than that. So first buff up your party. Really important. Put some more buff from Suti on. Then, before you start damaging, at least on your character that can debuff, start uh, start debuff before damaging with them. So in this case, I want to lower defenses here again. This one. And I want to use this one. I this thing isn't game. doing the job. Let's go. This will not do it. Okay. I think he got interrupted two times there. It usually works. Okay. Then we start to do some damage. Okay. No need to ask. Nice. Some cone you can actually do it bigger as well. Don't want to have that much minus. It's fine. We can use this spell. No difference. Yes. At your service. Oh. Let's go. What you... I thought we were friends. <laughs> Some poor. Varathus! Right. Pause. If. Can get a lower HP sometimes. <laughs> Tell me. Can't make a dent. Happy to oblige. Lava will be on the down. This will not do! How may I help? <laughs> These ends are in for a walloping. Speak your mind. Smart stone in. <laughs> yeah. Can't make a dent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rough. Huh? Love will be on sink. Yeah. You see, I almost take no damage at all. Because all the buffs I keep up. Hey, something I can do? 
Mm. How may I help? So also, I we talk a little about buffing even more to make it even easier this game. Uh, when you rest, you rest here actually. So. An easy way to find the best food. Sort here by the value. So you get the best food at the top. So the Halias Bounty is really good to have. You get that uh, if you choose a benevolent soul uh, at the start of the game. So you can use this three times. I also use it in the start of the game of Idea. You can't get that in game anywhere else. So uh, when we talk about food buffs here. So the food, incre uh, incredible food buffs are really, really good and quite expensive. Uh, for example, Crusty Swordfish, 20% area effect, 2 penetration with spells and 10 damage. So I tend to use this all on my damage casters in the background, especially later in the game. And try to have this buff up all the time. You can actually craft that right now, we have the ingredients for it. Uh, same with this one, two presentation with weapons, two plus might, and one power level. I miss one ingredient to get that, or I will put it on me. Uh, can get some... Uh, some healing receiving three might, can be good on me, actually. Don't be afraid to use it. I use it all the time. The ingredients is quite cheap to buy in taverns and so on. Uh, yeah. So, crusted swordfish on Aloth. Uh, that on me. For her, some constitution one might. Why not? And on him, yeah, sure. So that's why you don't need, you want to rest that open to have these buffs up as long as you can. So let's talk a little bit about buffs more here. Aye. So for example, if you take the blind affliction here. Uh, so if you get blind on you, what can you do to remove it? You can actually cast the corresponding uh, inspiration to remove it. So f this is a level 3 and it's a perception affliction. So if you look here, on Sotis here, that is also a perception affliction. So this is level 2. So if you get blinded, for example, and you cast Dire Blessing on you, on your party, at this level 2, this will actually be downgraded two steps. And it will cast instead... Uh, yeah, the first one. But it's just the perception, I guess. So, if you have a level 2 uh, corresponding aware here, I can check if you open the journal, Cyclopedia, you have the afflictions here. So, you can take a look at perception here. So distracted is the level one one. This really just give you a minus five perception and consider flanked. Disoriented is upgraded, still five minus five perception and consider fl flanked and have a fifty percent uh, additional recovery time. And blinded is the top one, still five minus perception, flanked, recovery, and also get minus ten accuracy. So to counter blind you will need to cast 
uh, intuitive. It's level 3. If you cast one of the others, it will be downgraded to 1 below or 2 below, depending on what you have available to you. So that is how you counter them, how to dispel them, so to speak. So if you cast that, you don't get the buff, but it, you will get, remove the debuff. So it's really sure good thing. to know as well. Okay, so let's do some more fighting here. Happy to oblige. Speak your mind. Tell me. I smell conflict. There. Wait, look there. Is something I can do? This fight is not that hard. Let's he has go. To go. I cannot whack him any harder. What do you need? <clears throat> something I can do? That doesn't flow right. I'm here. Happy to oblige. Java, <laughs> beyond seek. Yeah. You have it. it will be so. Tongaloa devour you. Yeah. I'm here. Rough. Huh? It makes yeah. no difference. Hey. Hmm? Hey. Huh? Oh? Yeah. <coughs> that doesn't feel right. Also in here, I have my little pig equipped actually, plus one perception, but it will give me ten defenses against disease attacks. I use, have a bad habit to use, but lots of disease here. Real quiet now. Worth a look. And we get some harder fights here. In a while. I see a soul in the darkness. Oh, hmm? that, that was really bad. One ready for reaping. What are you? Wraith are really annoying. Hey. I'll show you why. Uh. Take him down. Huh? I will take your tank. Far away from the others. In this case is not that big of a problem. Next time, a challenge. Huh? Uh, speak your mind. <laughs> This summon that the KO has, this one, it's actually quite good because if you mark it, he has a spell that you can move him. Let's go! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Very good summon, extra tank thing. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Oh, speak your mind. Worth and rough. <laughs> worth and rough. Oh, I shall. Ah, oh, that. Yeah. Take him down. Put on that. Some engagement here. Got it. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Be yours to command, oh, Captain. Yeah. Yes? Happy to oblige. At your service. Yeah. Let's go! The tank don't take that much from this engagement stack. Don't take dangerous. Of course. Can't make it there with your aim. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Love yeah. through beyond sink. Yeah. Something I can do. <laughs> I'm on it. 
Hey, what do you need? Don't forget, as always, put it back on this and had that done. Oh, that's why I took so much damage before. Actually, let's turn it off, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sure. Put hmm? Keeping quiet. I'll get it open. Finished. Nice and slow. Have my attention. Naturally. Ah, forgot to loot there before. Doesn't matter. Found something. Hey, stop! Huh? Well, okay. Hey, this. Uh, so Modvir. Now, if it's really you cool don't sword. Know, it's really a wonder you've managed to. S but my owner, eh, I'll let. But also soul bomb weapon here. We can use it instead of the maze. So I bind it there. What do you want? None of your gods. You have it a much better sword. You good. I'll so I need to kill a kith, I guess. Yeah, upgrade it. Something I can do. Good thinking. Yeah. I want the mace for now. Need a crush. I'll see what I can find. Can be a little hard fight here. Yeah. Hmm. There's something I can do. Okay. Fat yeah. again. It's usual. Actually, I want this one first here. Mo I love to interrupt you. And the robust one. So I always tend to do let the mob come to me. Uh, most of the time. Yeah. It's easier. Take them down. Yeah. You see how good it is to have so many engagement as a deer has. You can really keep them off you. Yeah. Yeah, that goes up rather fast if we have it upgraded.
Nobody saw that. So now they have a bad habit to jump on my backliners. So I'm TK right now. I want to change to my staff, put that on, and cast this one. Yeah. This thing isn't doing. Can move allies. Indeed. Not in there. I want to help out here. Can use finding web here. Uh, I'm engaged to two of them here on TKU. So I really want to be able to move away. I can actually use this one. This does not work. There's something I can do. So we got terrified on these two. See the little symbol here. So TK is only engaged to this one right now. There's something I can do. So I probably can swap to this and run away. No need to ask twice. Yep. I got a disengagement attack. Didn't take that much damage. I uh, still need to tank that one. <laughs> this will not Here we do. go. How may I help? Do some healing here. This does not work. Always go. keep Damn the Latin. Keep the mobs from your backline huh? when you can. Don't want to kill the pleasure is mine. Defenses here. Heal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this thing isn't doing the job. Sometimes it can be hard. No difference. Take him down. So I lost his engaged there. Can't really move him. Hmm? Lava will be on the limit. So. I don't want him to die. Let's go. What's that? This does not work. Yeah. I bring your end. Darkness flows in the light. Wanes. I bring your end. Makes no difference. Happy to oblige. Yeah. 
At your service. Uh, I trust it. Tell me. What say? Yeah. A little messy here, but I have a bad habit. Let's jump, uh, burg down and jump on the back line. You see Tell here, me. I ported this to have some good defenses to swap to if needed. You have my attention. I survived because of that. I'm here. Yeah. Also, this aura here, rarely use it, but uh, it gives you 12 defenses when disengaging. So you can turn that on if you need to disengage to be more safe. You can't have your caster stand next to these guys. You will die. Right. Yeah! Hey. Hmm? Hi. I'm here. You have my attention. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Okay, so here we have a really annoying fight. That can be made very easily with some tricks. I'm gonna show you. I shall be discreet. So in the game, we have this ones. This one is a sigil of nightmares. There are different kinds of them. I think I have a little a consumable item you can use, a little disc, can't remember its name right now, that is has different names, same as this one. So if you use, uh, you can use it out of combat and it will uh, hold on as long until next rest, actually. That makes you immune, immune to these effects. Uh, what they do, the different one does different things, there are some sigil of death. If you stand close to them free and it, it pulls sight, I can show you here and save. Okay. So you do like that. Okay, and when you do here. that for this specific one, you get the buff debuff here. Curse of nightmares. Uh, multiply five times this time. So I got minus two resolve for 30 seconds when damage. Uh, this is one of the mo le less. <laughs> Dangerous one, but other ones are really, really have some really, really hard debuffs on you. And the only way to get them off you is to rest. So, I'm gonna reload here. How to deal with them? So, you can use that little uh, usable item if you have them, but most of the time you can just uh, avoid them actually. So, another thing here. Mm -hmm. That was about as useful as a to all on direct a rammies. <laughs> you can't kill them like that. Uh -huh. But they are yeah. not immune to AOE effects. So if you can't kill them off before a fight, you can use AOE. As I'm not in combat here. I can use as many fireball as I want. Um, this Wait, fight can be really there. annoying. I'm gonna save again, show you why. So, you have another CG up here. Yeah. So you don't want to fight up there. So, I'll stealth my tank here mm -hmm. as usual. Okay. Here they come. Let's go! And oh. let's. Yeah! As we usually do. Something. And there, and there is gone, your tank, and you don't want to run past this one. And there goes Suti, and these three more or less can't tank all this. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. Trouble up ahead. I have to do this. First time I was here, I did this fight so many times. I was so furious. I didn't have good knowledge of the game either. 
had some bad gear, bad setup and all that. Something I can do. And I always play this game of Path of the Damned. I never played it on any lesser difficulty. So we will run in with the deer here. Only. Hey. And it's the uh, right here that do it. So we run okay. up to him. Just gonna wait. Hey. Yeah, not even close. And there is the second Sorry, one. Friend. I can't. And it brings me down here. Let's go. Something I can do. Good trick. <laughs> hey. Yeah. This does not work. I bring you. Yeah. Hey. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 And you get out of combat. Sure thing. Hey. Try to utilize the environment you have. Something I can do. I'll show you another trick later on here in this dungeon. On yeah. a hard fight. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Happy to oblige. What say? And nice and I actually quiet. used up the ability now, so. I killed one, and the second one won't do it again. So the fight becomes much easier. Whoa, whoa, look. Still don't want to go in vicinity of that one. So I'm gonna fight down here. Yeah. There's something like... And so it is kind of my third tank here for the big packs because she has higher armor. So can take some beating actually. I'm um, more than to protect Takeo and Alothair. Yeah. Beating here, there's some on shades, really high level as well. Turn on that. Let's go. Hey. The healing here, don't take care. Kind of hard fight, and I think it will be hard to come out here and put on touch of rot. And this one, what do you need? As you see, it there literally take no damage. Yeah, stand up like a boss. I can take some quite hard damage. I need to protect myself. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Bad. This does not work. Don't forget the, the watcher abilities you have here. This one costs frightened. Nice, tier 2 resolute. 
affliction can be really good and this one it will actually distract the target and do a AV heal so an extra heal there I don't know when I forgot about them can use some extra heal here as well Some more defense here. Can't really get around here. So kind of bad positioning. Can use this one. Beating. <laughs> Need something stronger. Take him down. Yeah. And she heard uh, Idea says that I need something stronger. So all the characters say that all the time. That was never very efficient, so on. So that they will, if you don't always have to look at about the head, about the numbers I talked so much about the last video. Uh, listen what they say. So you know if a deer or yourself say something, it's not efficient. It means that the armor penetration is below. So you can when you, when you do fight quickly. Uh, glass. Oh, something's wrong there. If you don't have, uh, yeah, full control every every time in every fight of everything, can be quite a lot of things. I need to do some damage here. Can I get out? I can't. That will do a lot. And we will happy to oblige. Curses. <laughs> Need something stronger. <laughs> Not so bad. Lava beyond seek. Take him down at your service. I'm not even close. I'm here. As you see, uh, I never run out of spells on Alaf. I have not even used my power yet. Huh? Some good thinking. Let's go. This does not work. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Hey, watch it with that. Hey. Eating. So you see a backup healer here. It's really good to have. Uh, so I had to kill you. Do you heal a lot in this fight? Huh? Can you knock him down? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Move him. That dog won't hunt. So this fight can be really, really hard. It was kind of messy here, but hey, you see what I did? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aye. And you can take out this one. So always pull the mobs away from them, kill them, and afterwards kill them to get past. I'll get it open. Got it. 
worth a look. So this is also a perception I uh, check I have. Find treasures all over the place like this. So I have so high perception. Hey, wait! It's just right. I'm loath to admit it, but look, I'm too desperate not to. Then I'll make it. I. So, uh, quite on a good, good way in this dungeon so far. I think I am like maybe one level low to be here. What do you need? I just wanted to make it a little harder. <laughs> good thinking. So this can be quite a hard fight. And attempt to do this. Stand here, I think. I shall Love be discreet. Save. Something I can do. Run. See here, I have three dead red skulls on him and on him. This one is a spellcaster, do huge amount of damage, die quite easily. This one is kind of hard to kill. So if you stand with your entire party in here, you get surrounded. And you can't walk over here, there's a small path out here and here. Uh, so I tend to just green with the day like this. Can can work sometimes. And come up to here. Start tank everyone. Down the fences. Yeah. Then we go in. I really need to debuff here. So they don't do so much damage. Blind is good. And I'm not gonna use this one. This one's here on a deer. I'm just gonna save all my uh, points here for vigorous defense to keep that up in the time fight, more or less. Because he's gonna take some beating here. I often do. I want to kill this one as fast as possible. And we want to off tank maybe this guy. Stop that. It. Still have the buff up. That's not very helpful. Can put up a dragon here. Oh. So this is quite good. This one interrupts. 
and someone sold this red three red skulls on this one so I don't get them up here so if you have some other summons and so on put it on dangerous casters uh, I really need to save myself here so emergency healing don't have that many disable abilities at the moment stunts and paralyze get it later on just need to survive here come on yeah. Yeah. can't stand in the fire either On me, need to swap to much protection here. I did not kind this spell speed. Turn that down. So it is still fine. Put up some. We need to kill that one. Let's go. Okay, swap back. Gladly. Yeah. So a hard fight like that. This you need to need to focus. And they're taking a beating down here. Uh, some ones can be good to use to off tank. Do more DPS here. So here's the problem. It's engaged to take care. I need to put on stuff. Use this one. Standing strong. Right. Need to take care of this yeah. once. I bring your end. Hey. Yeah. This Just thing isn't doing the job. He's sheeped. See in there, it's a little pig. Some more protection, just in case. This thing isn't doing the job. Huh? 
All right. That was a mess. Yeah. Okay. Intense fight. It went okay. This fight can be really, really hard in there. Mm -hmm. One of the hardest, actually. Did we get anything fun here? Exceptional scale armor. Guess it's better than that one, but I need. It's fine. Keep it down. soul in the darkness one ready for reaping what do you need So you see how strong this actually is, these spells together, the dots and so on, and standing in fire with combusting worms and all that, they just like melt more or less. I guess I'll get it uh, not done. that much more to say about the mechanics in this video. Uh, talked a lot about what buffs are sort of you take, uh, the damage, you see how I play to Next make it efficient time, even in hard fights. I'm gonna finish this uh, dungeon in this video, if you want to stay, of course, continue watching. I'm not gonna show you that more mechanics actually, uh, or tips and tricks, maybe something on the last boss in here, but feel free to stay, I'm gonna finish it, finish what I started.
Nope. I don't want injuries. Save scamming, I know. Sorry. I don't want to lose my good food buffs. Keep in mind this, uh, like when you step on the corpses here, you get sickened. That is an affliction. And remember that when you are here, because in the first DLC, uh, you actually get an armor and a head that is soulbound. That is to upgrade it one step. You need to get receive 100 afflictions, I think. So if you go here with that armor and that head, just stand still in those. It's quite easy to upgrade. That's a small tip for you. Now we come to the, the fight we just did is one of the hardest in here and some fights here can be really hard as well. Keeping an eye out. But if you have proper defenses, proper healing will be much so here can be an insanely hard fight and I died here so many times but last time I did it I figured out a little trick to to actually beat this quite easily I can show you what not to do first save so we do as you usually do oh, here look. what do you need so, yeah. hmm? And I suited died. Couldn't do much. There, take care, you died. Instantly. Oh. And I hated fight this fight. It usually works. So to actually get back up because of the armor. Try to heal her. Try to. I don't really have any good crowd control yet, so like AV stance, paralyze, and all that. And we can try to shield fog them. Let's go. Try to kill this one. Yes, the dear standard, like a beast. It doesn't take damage. This is how important it is to have a good tank. Yeah. Uh, I talked to a guy a little fast in another stream yesterday. So he has some real issues with his tanking. So, hope you learned something here. Yeah, Alok goes down quite <laughs> So, it's a mess already. Uh, I can maybe recover from this. It's really hard. All my abilities. Rather difficult to concentrate. Attacks to my. Don't have a rest yet either. 
But I'm gonna show you. So it can be a real mess here. So why did I take so much damage? What happened? So they actually go down and up again and do some AV damage around them. That hurts for a lot as you saw. Instantly killed my backline is here. Hmm? So I figure out. Go in with it here again. Oh, oh, look. And <laughs> see they go down and up. Okay. Like it doesn't take damage. Yeah. It doesn't know what damage is. No. Sure. Have them in a good choke point here. <laughs> and they take damage of course. But No. There you go on that. Okay. Put up some robust here. Then we're gonna use this. And we're gonna use this of course. So love it. We're gonna use combustions and we're gonna use him and stand there. I bring your end. But first, of course. Use some healing. This is futile. <sighs> Take him down. So we need to heal him. Yeah, some nasty debuffs on him. Yeah, quite a lot. Don't think I have that ring on me. I have. So this one. And cast heal and defense. Hey, we had some good times. So, oh, it's fine. Let's do some killing here. Yeah, can we get this in? Gonna hit the deer. Don't care. Deer can take a bit. Buffing. Cost no. no. And let's empower Fireball. Hey, who's that you are? Oops. As you see here now. Um, if you look here, I can do like that. Uh, see here. I am confused right now. Uh, meaning, all my... This is normally a... full AOE ability. That is completely red right now. So be aware of that if you are confused. And if you use to cast some spells. So confusion is actually a resolve affliction, I think. Yeah. So this one is a resolve buff inspiration. So it should not okay you now make him that removed. Stay confused. I may be wrong. I confused his in intellect, I guess. Yeah. It's intellect. My bad. But if that was an intellect inspiration, uh, it would, would be a remote. So keep that in mind if Soti or something or your healer is confused. 
they will actually heal the monsters if you're not carefully. I think I'm gonna take these weapons instead. And where is it here? Can't see him really. Is it there? Oh, he's a helpless beast. <laughs> That's why it took, takes so much damage. So for how long? 14 seconds. This is not good. And I already used my suppress affliction thing. Uh, I need to swap here, I guess. Put on some robust. I need to web them. Can't make a dent. Sorry, there. What do you need? This is gonna hurt. Uh, how long? Three seconds. Take him down. You heal. <sighs> this thing isn't doing the job. Okay, he's back. Also, a thing here that is quite annoying in this game. Uh, when you try to drink potions, you will notice that you click on it, and then never drink it. Even if they not get properly interrupted, they don't drink it. It's a bug. Uh, for them to really drink the potion, you need to turn off either this one or this one to inactive. Then take the potions. It's annoying as... Yeah. Hey, watch it with that. What do you need? Then you need to turn it on again. Let's use a figurine here. Top some darkers. Not Gonna need to rest here after this anyway. I'm here. Have any power point power left? Come on! Yeah. Let's finish them off. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Take them down. Yeah. I need some help here. So sometimes you really yeah. use all the spells that yeah. you have. Sure. Glory be to God. Yeah. At your service. Yeah. I thought we were friends. But you saw the difference here in the start of the battle at least. I got sheep and a hex there. Why? On the air, that it, why it took so a lot of that much damage.
an exceptional rod. Can be nice. Fine hunting bow. So he has a fine. But this specific bounce. Yeah, I won't change it. Steady does it. So yeah. I wasted yeah. all my empower mm -hmm. points here. Empower. Yeah. Almost. What say? Yes. I want a lot of your service. So I am going to rest actually. And I am going to lose my good buffs here. Uh, ah, let's wait. That will do, I say. I see a soul in the darkness. One ready for reaping. Wait, look there. Would you look at that? Let's go. Ah, worth and rough. I'm going to slash. Yeah, it's a crush weapon up. Maybe a little boring doing the same stuff over and over, but this is the spells I have right now. Later on, I will have a lot more. Hope this is really efficient. Rather difficult to no. concentrate. Yeah. 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 Can't make a dent. Look here, it is no Hey. Sometimes they just run strength puffs. You need something. Doing the job. Happy to Speak oblige. Mind. Mother in God. Is that you? Three fights left here. Let me down. In the lantern. I'm gonna show you some tricks on the last encounter here in as well. Now that order is too oh. This fight is kinda hey. fun. Stand right back here again. Hmm? 
save. And this one. Hey. Shh. Trouble up ahead. So you can loot it and avoid the fight. Alone. But what the fun is this? In that, fighting is the fun part of this game, I think. So I want I everyone to go up rest here before start fight. I see a soul in the darkness. One ready for raping. Okay. Hmm? Screen with it there. Look there. Make sure to thank this one. He has three skulls. Quite a lot here. I would actually take a potion here. So I'll turn off that. I will take that defense. And I will take that one. Sorry, friend. Okay. I want to try to have them in check. Uh, quite nice here right now, so we can try to put a web on them. So stay there and put some up so and put some. Buff up there. Oh, yeah. That order is too tall. You need to take that. Yeah. And that's blast them. I don't care about a lot there right now. I like it there. That order is too tall. This is futile. Yeah, that's some power. That looks complicated. So that's why I took that potion on there to get some extra elemental defenses, so I can stand in the middle here. Let's make sure to have a good defense up. It will be so. Just say to you to empower that one. Can't make a dent. I wish I could. Friends. Yeah, I'm his life. I'm having some trouble moving. The pleasure is mine. Yeah. yeah. Hey. They don't care about the deer, but they die ever. Yeah. Yeah, more fire. It's not the best, but gets the job done. Also, these are vessels. Sure thing. Oh, it makes no do this one. Do damage. I thought we were friends. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Thinks you got the decency to die. Ah. Can't yeah. Bend them again. Dead. So they explode like that. Need to okay. run away. No 
Hey, we had some good times. Take <laughs> Off thick worth than rough. What say? This thing isn't doing the job. Off thick worth than rough. Moe, Ixie, I need some help here. What do you need? What can I do you for? Moe, Ixie, Ona. That must hurt. It makes no difference. Hey. Moe. Ixion. Yeah, it's a fun fight for you. Mm -hmm. Not so, sure, okay. yeah. see how important it is to have a really good tank with defenses, as you can't do that. I gotta skip one fight here and actually go to the last one. It's just more of the same else, but I'm gonna show you some trick here. Don't want spoilers, or we level up actually. So we can talk a little bit about active and passive skills here. So I tend to focus on on my tank on athletics to get self heal. Yep, this is selfie thing. Uh, this one is all, almost only for role playing and dialogue boxes and so on. I can always recommend to have some survival on any character and some stealth because in many scripted uh, events it makes some low sh stealth checks on all. And if you have zero or survival check, you often get injured and so on. As you saw when it, we went down the stairs before, we get injured because of I thought it was uh, survival actually or athletics as well has some point in it so okay we got a new tier level here I actually gonna take this one uh, enemies that disengage from the fighter are immediately attacked and prone if successful and I was gonna show you something cool here is that if you take this one and later on take I think it's this one yeah 15 accuracy with disengagement attack and 50% damage with disengagement attack and on Aloth I'm just gonna show you up here So this spell I talked about before, it will actually cast Terrify, making them run away and making them run away. If you if you have a tank, as you saw, they are right now tanking a lot of mobs as they do all the time. So if you have this ta those talents I show you there and you cast that one on them, they will run away and it will disengage meant attack on every mob doing huge amount of damage. That's kind of cool fact actually to do. That's the tip for you. I take that and I'm starting to get to the point that I don't need that much more defenses at the moment. I can actually start to focus more on damage. Uh, Ah, I will get the extra health for now. Maybe next time. But you see, a deer, sometimes, of course, uh, when it gets really hard the buffs and so on, it gets a load of damage. But other than that, it yeah, stands there. On me. So. I have my mechanics for myself, as I said in the first video, because you always need a mechanic guy with you to pick locks up and uh, the, the disable traps. Uh, and I tend to do it on myself and max it out. I know athletics maybe should be better on me, but I have my attack with heal instead, so I rather had that one. And I have always myself in the party, of course, so and it's always good to have a mechanic guy with you. That's why I 
pick mechanics and myself. So I just get one more. What do we want? I don't want that. One debuff here that is actually really good. If you take this one, it's blinded, it's okay. But upgrade here, they will actually take this AOE around you and they will actually take 40% more damage taken for 8 seconds. So if you first put up the debuff as I do with Aloth and the KU for example, put up the, all the dots and so on and then run that one. <laughs> they will just melt faster. I'm gonna take that later on. Not right now. So what I want here, I don't want concentration. This can be actually good. Uh, so what to do is, if someone gets con shown confused or dominated, can be real annoying, especially on your tank. So you can hit them just one time normally with your with this ability. Uh, it's passive, so just a normal attack and it will remote so dispel. More situational, I guess, but. In, in those situations, it can be really good. So what do I want? I want another weapon set. Uh, I'm a little weak. Yeah, I want that one. More damage. I also want that one. Take that for now. Some more damage. I love. Yeah, I'm actually gonna take that. It's another one that, same as this one. This is really good. Uh, so instead of uh, this is full target, not AOE, so it's this little cast, but it will do just this on one target. It holds for 10 seconds longer as well, and it will really, it will do this on. Uh, the jump to two additional targets. Same here is a really good debuff, but I take this one for now because I want to terrify. And I get this one for raw damage, really good. So, what do I want? Range with spells is always good, and action speed with spells. I think I want the action speed for now. Don't take too many abilities on any row, every row here. Focus the passive as well. You get two for free here. So I have the call to slumber in this one because of my grimoire. And you see that this other little icon next to it here. It means that it's uh, for this one. Spell shaping. So I can resize it. Yeah, good with that. And on Suti. Arcana. There are some really good healing scrolls in the game. Uh, you have them stacked up or open as Otis, so if she runs out on healing, critical fights and so on, she has some good scrolls that can heal for full. Or, uh, the best one heals your entire party up for full. So, but just be careful when you craft them, it costs really expensive materials that you can, that you need to, the, the most best, the best ones. I'm going to show you it in a second. Uh, I want the rest ability here, if I get knocked down, and range with spells, always good, but I want this one, 50% more healing done. For now, I want the rest here, don't really like the other ones here, uh, maybe this one is really good, resolute and tenacious, so it's a really good buff, especially put that on myself. It's a single target. I tend to focus more on AOE abilities here. Happy with that. So if you want to craft a scrolls healing and support. So the miraculous I think is the best one. Actually cost Adraban and you don't want to waste them. 
because they are often used in enchanting weapons as well to the best. Uh, Miner can craft some. So don't don't use scroll uh, don't craft scrolls as well cost like rare uh, emeralds and stuff like that. Some things you can craft here. Okay, let's do this last fight. Can be quite hard. Especially if you're not prepared. I'm gonna show you a little trick. As usual. I'll see yeah. what I can find. Save here first. First of all, you want to kill off these ones. They spawn small grubs. And then we are going to pull the bus. What is this disgusting? And he can't move. <laughs> Hey, watch out. Okay. Stand there. Hey. Well, don't see why not. Hard to be a farmer and not be thinking about revenge right now. Come see. Come see, come see. So you want to pull out the grubs. Kill them off. Take them down. Yeah. <laughs> it makes no difference. <laughs> hmm? Yeah? Run, run them up to slash damage. Save your abilities here. Uh -uh, didn't work. This will not do. Yeah, of course. I think you can wrestle the fight. Run away. Really need it now, but I didn't use an ability sir. And there comes the next There's one. Something I can do. This thing isn't doing the job. Out of combat, so the, the grubs is gone. Yeah, no, she's see, but <laughs> it makes the fight so much easier. I'm also gonna use some uh, figurines here. Kill this boss fast. So I used that one already. It's too bad. Yeah, I don't want to rest. Okay. Let's kill this. Whoa, whoa, look. Hey. Let's go. Put it them in the back. Can't use that one. Flank them. Didn't I? Oh, I forgot to equip it. Eh, okay. This does not work. Bring your end. Okay. There's something so I can do. We want to debuff him first. He is flanked. That is good. And we want to 
So it's resistance to dexterity to solve the might afflictions. And weak against intellect afflictions. I don't have any. Seraphon has. Put up my lovely fire here. And this one. Yeah. This thing isn't doing the job. Curses. Did I shift start? Okay. Uh, we are going. Miss that. Try it again. This thing oh. isn't doing the. Something I can do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Speak your mind. No need to ask twice. Happy to oblige. This does yeah. not work. Better than that. Yes? Take them down. Happy to oblige. Ah, thick worth and rock looks bad. How may I help? Moe, Ixi, Alma, worth and rock. I did not kind this spell space. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Can't take much more. Something stronger. Let's go. I shall. No. 
That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Second try, I say. Take him down. Worth a look. Sure. Can't make a dent. Yeah. Hey, we had some good time. At your service. Naturally. Worth Let's it, rough. Yeah. I missed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Worth it, rough. That dog won't hunt. Here we go. Yeah. What can I do you for? Yeah. You have my attention. Makes no difference. Ah, Happy to oblige. Yeah. I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, tell me. Take him down. <laughs> Second try. Uh, can't make a dent. You have my attention. Beyond seek. Okay, that was this dungeon. Uh, kind of long video, I guess. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching at it. Uh, so we did talk a little bit about efficiency, how to do harder fights and so on here. Uh, yeah. So I what think this need? is going to be my last video for this guide in Path of Dam. Hope you have some more understanding of the game right now. Uh, if you want me to do more videos in this guide, you can of course do that. If you want me to show you all the different companions you have, how to utilize them and so on. I think the KO is one of the greatest to have with you, actually. As you saw here, a combination of the KO and Alof do insane of damage. Uh, yeah. secret chamber here but I'm not gonna show you what's inside okay sure um, thank you for me have a nice time bye